Hey guys, the dividend discount model is actually a really easy concept to understand if we break it down simply. So let's get started with the definition. The dividend discount model predicts the price of a company's stock based on the sum of the present value of its expected dividends. Now, when we're talking about the price of the stock, we're trying to determine its value and see how that value is above or below or equal to the price of the stock in the marketplace. Now, let's start off with a timeline. You see T equals zero, that just means time equals zero. So this point on this timeline represents today. Let's say we're analyzing a stock that we expect to pay $8 dividend at the end of year one, a $10 dividend at the end of year two, a $6 dividend at the end of year three, and a $12 dividend at the end of year four. But we also expect this stock's price to be $100 at the end of year four. So the cash flow at the end of your floor will be 12 plus 100. What we wanna know with the dividend discount model is if we discount all of these values, all four of them, back to the starting point of today, what should the fair price of this stock be? Let's pretend in this example that the market is pricing this hypothetical stock at $100 today. We wanna find out if this is a good stock to purchase. We're going to have to make an assumption about the required rate of return of this stock. And so this will be based on the risk of the stock. And most dividend discount model problems I've seen, they give you this, va this value. So we're gonna assume that based on the risk of the stock, we need a return of at least 8%. We'll use this formula, the dividend discount model formula, to find the price or the intrinsic value that we believe the stock should be priced at. And we're just gonna take the dividend, so D1 is the dividend at time one, and we're gonna divide it by one plus the required rate of return of 8%, and then put it to the value of the exponent of one, which is this time period. And then we'll do the same thing for dividend two, D2, which is this $10 here, and we'll do one plus the required rate of return of 8%, to the power of two because that is the point in the timeline that it represents. And we'll just do that all the way through to the ending value. But the last period of time is a bit different because we do have the dividend at time four, which is the $12 here, but we also add the price of the stock at time four that we expect, which is that $100. And we discount them all back. So here is what this looks like. So we talked about the first dividend of $8 being discounted back by 1.08 to the power of one, the time period. That results in a present value of $7.41. The second dividend was $10 and we discounted it back for two years. That results in a present value of $8.57. And we do that for the third cash flow and the fourth cash flow. When we discount all four of these cash flows back to present value, so today, we come up with an intrinsic value or an expected price of $103.47. Now this $103.47 is higher than what the market is currently pricing the stock at of $100, which means that this stock is definitely a buy based on the dividend discount model. Now let's just go over one last really popular variation of the dividend discount model. It's called the Gordon growth model. It estimates a stock's price assuming the dividends grow at a constant rate. So if we took that dividend at time one that we call D1, $8, and we just assumed that it grew every year at a constant rate, and for this example, we'll use 1%, um, what would be the intrinsic value or estimated price of the stock? Let's assume that this stock, we still have a required rate of return of 8% and the market is pricing it at $100. This is the formula for the Gordon growth model down here. So the intrinsic value or the price at time zero of the stock is equal to D1, so the first dividend, divided by the required rate of return minus the growth rate, which will just be the $8 divided by 8% minus 1%. And this gives us a value or an intrinsic value of $114.29. And because this 114 is greater than the $100 price that the market is currently setting the value of the stock at, 
we also consider this stock to be a buy. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.